Hail to the Navy. We got a good one to talk about in this video. And before some of you come at me in the comment section, I do realize that Hail Navy is spelt H-A-L-E rather than the other way, like Hail whoever. Party! Who's the king? Who's the king? I've been requested to take a look at this color, so that's exactly what I'm going to do, because that's what I do. I'll give you some important details about Hail Navy by Benjamin Moore, including how dark it is, and some ways you can use it in your home. But more importantly, I've also arranged a few color pairings and trim colors that you can use with it for awesome results. This Navy is strong. And so is my need for validation. So please help Google know that we're doing a good job on this channel by pressing that like button for me. Thank you muchly. Navy in general has been a staple within interior design for what seems like centuries. I mean, believe it or not, I wasn't around in the 1500s, but if I was, I'm pretty sure my neighbor would be asking me whether to use Hail Navy on their thatched hut or whatever. <laughs> Let's get back to present day. HC-154 is arguably Benjamin Moore's most popular dark color, or at the very least, navy blue, if we're being conservative. You've probably seen it all over Google and Pinterest on a number of high-end kitchen cabinets, as well as in a countless number of those prestigious home offices we're all seeming to build like mine, although these walls are green. Hail Navy specifically has the ability to introduce sleek sophistication to a space just by going with the one paint color. And depending on how much of it you end up using, you can dial up or dial down the impact that it will have. It's also a navy blue that is fairly mellow in terms of its hue or its blue coloration. It's definitely not the most bright or vibrant blue on the market, even though it contains a lot of actual blue colorant inside, and that's because it's shaded with a dark gray quality as well, and at times maybe has the slightest hint of indigo hiding in the background. This is an undertone that you won't necessarily notice a ton because it's not like your local paint mixer puts a ton of purple in your gallon of Hail Navy. I just think a big factor why there's that touch of purple is because it doesn't look green leaning, which is sort of the opposite direction. No one's gonna mistake Hail Navy for a dark teal, for example. Unless you're shining like a teal light on it, like, I'm doing right over there, then maybe it might look a bit teal. Benjamin Moore markets this paint on their website as a use anywhere shade of navy with a classic maritime feel. And I do agree that for a lot of people, this is a color that you can use anywhere, but not necessarily everywhere all at once. Something that is really important to know about it is how light or dark it is. And we do this by looking at what's called the colors LRV or the light reflectance value. Most companies present this information on their website. I say most because Ferron Ball exists. <coughs> Get it together, Ferron Ball. <laughs> You're making my job just a little bit harder. But here, if we go on the Benjamin Moore website, good job guys, we can see that Hail Navy has a light reflectance value of 8.36. And my loyal subscribers watching will know that that's a very low LRV because the closer you get to zero, the more black a color will look. And then of course, 100 is pure white. So all paint colors sit well within this range. So that would mean that Hail Navy is at the bottom 10% of colors darkness wise. So if you are using it in your swanky new home office, for example, and you wanna be able to see your work properly, you wanna make sure that you have the right amount of lighting to illuminate that space just from a practical perspective, whether that's from precious sunlight coming through some beautiful windows or from artificial light in the form of maybe your overhead fixtures, pot lights, fun LED strips if you're into that thing, whatever. But things are a bit different in a bedroom, at least from my perspective because maybe you're not so concerned about keeping your bedroom as well lit as possible, especially if you like sleeping in darker environments like I do. So in that case, it might be a great choice. But this is also why Hail Navy to me is not really a good main color for a home. Not even a secondary color really, but more of a tertiary or a third kind of accent color choice in a lot of palettes that I incorporated in. I wouldn't use this in most hallways and foyers, probably not a secondary color in all the separate rooms attached to that hallway, but maybe it would be the perfect color for that one room or maybe those two rooms or as an accent wall color or on kitchen cabinetry or bathroom vanities. But before you do that, just a bit of advice. If you are going to possibly get your cabinetry refinished with Hail Navy, don't do it because it's trendy. Because I would argue that it's gone a little bit past the trendy stage because of how like ubiquitous it is with interior design. Everyone uses Hail Navy. And even though it's a beautiful choice in many circumstances, it's definitely not the most unique choice. 
But if you love it genuinely, then none of this should matter anyway. That was a long preamble. But I had a lot to say about this one, especially considering it was requested by one of our subscribers. Also, before we get to the color pairings, if you haven't subscribed yet and you're liking what I'm talking, then hit that red button to stay up to date with our six uploads every single week all about painting and decorating. It's great to see you all in the comment section as well, offering your perspectives. All right, color pairing time. This is the fun part for me, because I love color pairings. So we have three wall colors that will pair really nicely with Hail Navy, in my opinion, and also two trim colors, including a light and a dark color that you can use on your baseboards, your doors, your frames, all that woodwork. So my first easy peasy wall pairing would be paper white. And this is a color that has the faintest hint of coolness, especially compared to Hale Navy's super apparent cool blue quality. Paper white is very subtle. And it also works really well as a light neutral main color that you can put throughout an entire home or at least in the main areas of your home in a lot of cases. It's also a less warm alternative to some of my other favorites like Classic Grey and Balboa Mist that contain maybe a touch more beige or taupe. Now, despite its name, Paper White isn't going to feel like a crisp, stark sheet of A4. But what it does like a brand new sheet of paper is it'll give you a clean slate to work off of. And that includes Hail Navy. So the two colors will really bounce off each other. The second color I would offer you is Hush from the Affinity color line. And I added this one in for a few reasons. One, I love navy blue and mid-tone beige. And that's what you're getting here. I also wanted a color that had a bit more depth than paper white and also introduced a more apparent warmth while still feeling pretty relaxed and understated. If Hail Navy is that tertiary kind of third color, then Hush is your secondary choice. So perhaps the color that would go in a family room in a living room, and then Hail Navy would be tucked away in a beautiful dramatic dining room or that fun office. Hush also has a very subtle brown undertone as well, which could help pick up the browns that might exist elsewhere in your space, namely in the form of the material wood, which I'm sure is laying around somewhere in your home, maybe on your floors or your furniture. My third color though is a bit of a wild card, but I thought it'd be fun to throw in because I love it on its own, especially with Hail Navy. It's Salamander, the ultra deep cool shade of green. And I said cool because it also has blue within it. You could also see this as a subtle alternative to Hail Navy, of course, going a bit farther into green territory, but it's a darker color as well. So it's going to be a bit more moody, but if you really wanna lean into these deep, dark, rich jewel tones, I could see a world or a room that could have both of these colors mixed in together. Maybe Hail Navy is the main color all over the walls and then you have one wall panel or one piece of furniture that's painted with a salamander just to sort of draw your eye a little bit, but still fitting within this dark moody theme. The thing is you have a blue and a blue green. So they're still somewhat close in terms of their hue, which isn't gonna throw things off too much. Just be aware that you have two really dark colors that you're working with. So if that's what you're going for, this is a cool option. I really like it. Now let's get to the trim colors. I'll keep it simple here. Ultra white is a go-to cool white for me. It's what I used to use as a pre-mixed color back in the day. And I find it has a brilliant crisp quality to it. My dark trim option would be Cheating Heart. And this has a similar darkness level to Hail Navy, but it's a straight up charcoal gray. So you're not gonna get much of that blue whatsoever. I kind of like using Cheating Heart on the doors. And honestly, I would leave it up to you whether you wanted the door frames to be white or you can match your wall color or your door color meaning you can have Hail Navy door frames or Cheating Heart door frames. Because both colors are nearly identical LRV wise or darkness wise, it's just personal preference whether you want the wall color to continue onto that door frame or that door color to expand outwards onto its own frames. Here's the palette all together. Let me know what you think. And here's another palette for your viewing pleasure. And just before you go, if you wanna support the paint people, which is a family run business, me doing this full time now, you can click that join button and become a member. Definitely not required, but greatly appreciated.